Hey gang, I thought I'd share with you guys and girls my Ruger 1022 build that I've been working on for a few months. Of course, it came stock. You know, it came with your uh, regular wood. I think it's walnut stock and uh, 16 and a half inch little barrel. That's there. So I took all that off and I ordered me a the KSG bull barrel, threaded barrel. I got the one of the threaded barrels. One of these days I might want to panic put a can on it, so I went ahead and got the threaded barrel for it. Uh, I got the BX trigger in it, which a lot of you guys see me put in the old one in the old video. So there's the BX trigger. I took it from a six pounds down to about three pounds. I picked up an OD Green Hogue overmolded stock. Man, those things feel nice. Much improvement over that little uh, wooden deal that it comes with. I got the, the rubber uh the buffer pin in the back i put the rubber the rubber coated buffer pin so the bolt don't slam back the bolt and the receiver and everything right here is still all ruger but everything else i've took apart and put new stuff on it i've kind of got an overkill scope on it it's a simmons whitetail classic it's a six and a half by 20 so it's a little overkill for a 22 but i had it on an old 30-06 that i never shot anymore so i just took it off that and put it on this and it's been really nice. Me and my son has shot it. Uh, we shot it a couple months ago. And uh, he beat me again. There you go. We were shooting at 80 yards. 80 yards away. And he got in one inch group with it. And I kind of quite didn't. <laughs> so 80 yards. And we was using factory, you know, CCI ammo. You know, none of that uh, real expensive uh, target ammo or nothing. And we had a really good time with it. And I really like the way it, it turned out. I don't think I'm going to change anything else. I may eventually get a, a, a different uh, charging handle or maybe a bolt, a different bolt, jewel bolt maybe. But right now it works fine. And I don't think there's no reason to change anything else. Uh, I threw a Harris uh, bipod on the front of it. I think that's like a six to nine inch, something like that. So anyway, it's a cold, snowy day in Southern Kentucky. I thought we might uh, make some snowballs and shoot through the house and kill some snowballs hang on we'll see all right guys and girls i got the gun turned around you won't be able to see it but i'm shooting through my kitchen this is for you chuck i don't know if you can see it or not but i've got some snowballs there are my back deck there and we're going to take a few shots i'm using some uh, remington something they're just laying nose we're not very far, maybe what, 15, 10, 12 yards, something like that. Hope I got one charged. Yeah, already had one charged. All right, Chuck, my hollow point. He'd been wanting to see something shot through the kitchen for a while, so here we go. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's go ahead. There's a one or two of them just went straight through the snowballs. So let's go ahead and finish them off. <laughs> That's fun. That's real fun. It's always fun shooting from inside the house. All right, guys and girls, just a short little video on <clears throat> my little Ruger 1022 build. I had a lot of fun doing it. I didn't video it because there's so many videos out there that shows you how to do stuff like this. So take the barrel off and put the trigger in, redo your stock and all that. Kind of got a glare from that snow outside. Let's see if we can turn it around here a little bit. But well, anyway, there it is. I like it. I like it a lot. My son likes it, I think, better than I do. Well, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.